In this video, I'll show you how to play Everything Turns Gray by Agent Orange off the Living in Darkness record. The song is in standard tuning, and here we go. All right, so the song is in the key of A, and it starts off with this cool little descending riff that goes like this. So you're going to be playing um, with some um, palm muting, and you're going to start off, I like to play with my middle finger on the second fret of the G string. And so it goes 2nd fret, 1st fret, open. And then you're going to basically do the same pattern on the D string. Then do the 3rd fret of the A string to open. So. And then it repeats 3 times. And it's pretty fast. You can play it with alternate picking if you're comfortable with it, but it sounds like on the record it's all downstrokes. And it starts off with some heavy palm muting, and then the last time it's kind of open. So again it goes... And it kind of opens up as it goes on. Then once you've done that riff three times, it's going to go to these this octaves part, the, which is where the lead guitar plays. So the, after the last time through that descending pattern... You're going to go to this octave part where you're going to depress the second fret of the G string and then you're going to play the open fret of the A string. So it sounds like this. And basically it's an octave so it's the same, these are the same two notes. These are both A's. Um, and what the way I like to play it is I'll play it with my middle finger on the second fret of the G string and then I'm going to mute the D string so that doesn't ring out. And then when I play the, the, the octave, I'm going to play those three strings, the A, D, and G strings, but the middle string is going to be muted so you don't hear it. Then when we go up to the next octave, which is going to be with your root on the second fret of the A string and your ring finger on the fourth fret of the G string, you're going to, you're going to mute that now with your index finger on the D string. So. So. Then we're going to take that same chord and slide up to the 3rd fret. And then finally to the 5th fret. And this is all over the top of a rhythm guitar, which is going to be playing major chords, the, the bottom four notes of the major chords, starting with an A. So you're going to start with the A and you're going to do, um, there's going to be some kind of muted notes in between with that rhythm. So, so you're going to, that second note is going to be muted and it kind of alternates like that. And then it descends to the G then to the F. then back up to the G. Now that it does that one time and then it starts that progression again the second time. And then after the F it goes up to a high E bar chord so and it kind of lets it ring and then it plays it again, and then it does this uh, kind of notey part. So it's just first fret, 
Open. First fret. Third fret. First fret. Third fret. All on the low E. So. Then it goes back up to that high E. And this time it just hits it once and lets it hang. Then back to that part. And then it's going to go back to that descending pattern. And just one time. So the verse all the way through the chorus sounds like this. So then it goes into the second verse and chorus, and instead of ending with that descending pattern at the end of the chorus, like last time, the we're going to go into the solo, and the solo is based on the A minor pentatonic scale, and it starts off with this bend at the fifth fret. So it just kind of goes up and down, like it's about a half step bend. And then it goes into this kind of surfy style slides. So what I like to do is with my ring finger, I'm going to start at the 4th fret and slide up to the 5th fret. Um, and the reason I use my ring finger, um, even though it's kind of easier to use your first finger, is so that my hands are in position to play the, the rest of the parts of the solo after the slide. So uh, it goes like this. Um, so. Breaking that down slowly, we've got the slides. And then there's that, this kind of um, continuing pattern. So then continuing on with the solo, it's basically going to repeat that first part again. So we're going to do those slides. And then this time at the end, we're going to slide up from the fifth to the seventh fret of the um, A string. So it goes, sounds like this. So instead of going back down to the E string, we're going to slide up. And then continuing on, it's going to kind of ascend a little bit. So slowly, one more time, and one thing to note after that slide, there's that little kind of stutter uh, with like alternate picking. And it's a kind of a surfy sound. So continuing on with the solo after the slide part. It's going to end like that and then with a pick slide. So from the last part that I just broke down, you're going to play this repeating part. And then the fourth time, there's no bend, so. So again. So that solo all the way through is. And then after the solo, it's going to go back into the chorus, so the... So 
So you're gonna play a regular chorus and in the end you're just gonna play this kind of uh, A chord pattern. So if you find this content helpful, remember to like and subscribe. I post new videos each week and that way you'll be notified when there's a new video up and I'll see you guys next time.